Now it's April 8th, 2022. I moved myself from the war I hold in my mother's bedroom for bringing me into this disgusting mess. Uh, in like birth into this world. Um, and I moved myself into her living room area, which used to be my grandfather's. He's the one who did the fresco on the ceilings. Um, and the television of what's transpired over on some meal plan um, is alerting in some special report um, it turns out that Biden is, whatever, going to make some special announcement. Um, but apparently, when I look, there were three Republicans. Turns out their initiative, or their initials, or abbreviate, is M-E for Maine, A-L for Alabama, and U-T for Utah. I'm a little confused. Uh, they also, Axum is doing some seven course meal thing, M-E-A-L, on the same day in some 10th or 11th dimensional thing, since the 4th and the 5th dimensional and the 6th dimensional kids don't seem to be that much of a priority in the by den Um... Mets playing, uh, I'm sorry, Mets played the National Washington, D.C. last night. That was a, a kicker this morning on the news. Not that I follow it, but it was out of sequence. They put it in the beginning of the news, not the end of the news. So I was like, hmm. And then it went from there, something about an Aaron Judd, uh, Judge, uh, again, other than the name, and then this Katanji Brown nightmare. On a Supreme, the Supremes was kind of the same vocalization of problems in Motown era, but whatever. In urban, that's the urban of human development, but H U D on Hudson on that one. So um, that's interesting. And then it goes to Boston Massacre uh, being the Boston Red Sox, which is like, is that like indicative of bloody socks that they walk around in when they have no shoes? In this issues. Je ne sais pas, non, so. And then they are playing the Yankees on opening day. I noticed. They went with the human version of a woman who's representing the players first. And then they cut to Jim Dolan, who's representing the fans on opening day, who are just happy to have a game and whatever. He also, he looks like a man in the human. The other one looks like a woman in human. But in druidic, that's all off the table. This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon, and we're coming on the air at this hour because President Biden is set to mark the history made just moments from now at the White House, the confirmation of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson as the first black woman to serve on the nation's highest court. We will hear from President Biden and from Judge Jackson for the first time since her confirmation yesterday by the Senate. Three Republicans joining all of the Democrats, the president making good on his campaign promise to nominate the first black woman to the bench, the first in its 233-year history, the Senate confirming her by a vote of 53 to 47. As I mentioned, three Republicans voting in favor, Senators Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, and Mitt Romney. Now this is where it's interesting because the Republican supporting Judge Jackson was Maine and in federal U.S. post office, Maine goes by M.E., for military exchange program uh, that may not go off of the same love notes to someone with a postage stamp in forever. Alaska. Oh, it's Alaska. Look at that. I don't know their initials, but it starts with an A-L. 
and then you've got Utah, which is UT, which I know these have significance in their states abbreviations with, I don't know where on the seven course menu their promise and their support lay. Um, cause it looks like appetizers are having an issue. Um, clearly at some, I mean, some would call it loyalty, some would call it defiant, but definitely on a flippant in humorous, but not the funny kind. Um, and like an old English way of hemorrhagic is what it feels like. It really feels like hemorrhagic, uh, humor. Um, just so we're clear on the whatever. <sighs> Here's some other issues on the menu. Still going on in this section. Slap on stage between Chris Rock and Will Smith. Uh, from Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars today, the Board of Governors for the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences will meet to decide on possible discipline for Smith. The board initially planned to meet later this month, but then it decided to move up the date after... There's heat. That then goes into some appetizer rewrite over for some Masters tournament. I mean, these are the things they consider important. Tease off just after 1.40 this afternoon in the tournament's second round, which is currently... Nobody cares. A main power plant oh. caused the biggest blackout so far this... Now, this is interesting because somewhere I was told that Puerto Rico is part of the 51 states, not the... 48 puzzle pieces that are intercontinental and landlocked, but on the outskirts. But yet on the television, whenever they speak of the U.S., uh, they speak of Alaska and Hawaii. They never feature the island of Puerto Rico. I don't know why that is, and I don't know how to even find out what on the menu between appetizers and seven-course meal... I'm not quite sure how one was left out, what was promised, if there was something involved with that. It's really unclear to me. This year across the island. Originally, people were told repairs would be completed within a day, but officials later warned that the outage could last longer. The trouble has also left 170,000 customers without water, forcing schools and offices to close. We're still ahead at noon. Several areas cleaning up today from those overnight storms. This... Now here they have, this is this opening day. I'm going to fast forward because I really don't care about the sports, but there are some important features inside of here. On a much lighter note, buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. This is their lighter the note. Ball. Once again at Yankee Stadium, the Yankees take the field in just under an hour for their rain-delayed home opener against the Boston Red Sox. It's the first opening day meeting of the rivals since 2005. We have team coverage of the Yankees' home opener. Jim Dolan, he is with the diehard fans, but we begin with Sam Ryan, who is on the field at Yankees. So now the newscaster is saying she's representing the players... He is representing the fans. There's symbolism in this. I didn't write it. I wasn't part of their producer's meeting. I'm just reading the situation as I see it in a very large umbrella fashion at the moment. Stadium, Sam. <laughs> But more concerning, missile. More concerning for me is what he's saying about this with the Ukraine crisis. That's like really what's on my heart at the moment. Um, between things that I saw last night at some American Dream shopping mall that got shot up, which then they showed photos of what's inside the mall, and I'm like. Again, it's like, uh, what version of America is this? 
And then I see over here, um, they're claiming it was Russia. Again, I can't verify it, but that's what they're claiming. And really the faces of humans that speak. I mean, again, I, if I could get a druidic intelligence report, I would believe it. But based on the fact that, like, this is all human coming through some filter, I'm just, again, trying to figure out couch potato way of explaining what I see. And um, what's concerning is that they sent in some kind to a train station, some kind of bomb, and written on it was for the children. I mean, again, this is comes on the heels of this U.S. Supreme Court nomination last night, and then this morning, this bomb with for the children on it, bombing a Ukraine train station. Now, what also is interesting is yesterday, Lewis brings up this, these two, I mean, again, they're not my cup of tea, and I'm, I, I'm not a fan, but at a soccer stadium, there was one that was calling herself an Italian, which I don't think she looks Italian at all, and one calling herself Ukrainian, which again, I've seen the Ukraines. There's a scale, it seems, from past atrocities, perhaps, or migrations or whatever, replacements. Um, so that gets confusing. But that's the same thing I have over here with the confused confusion between Greeks and Italians and then some beseechment of stolen identity and then really confusing communications projects. ...struck a crowded train station in eastern Ukraine and killed at least 50 people there. All of them were fleeing the war. Authorities say about 4,000 civilians were in the station in Kramatorsk when at least two Russian rockets hit. More than 100 people were injured. According to a video posted by the Ukrainian president, at least one missile had the words, For the children written on it. Ukraine's foreign minister says the battle for the region near that station will be vicious. The battle for Donbass will remind you of the Second World War. Either you help us now, and I'm speaking about days, not weeks, or your help will come too late. On social media, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called the missile attack evil without limits. He also said if it goes unpunished, it will never stop. Russian officials deny responsibility for the train station attack. On a much lighter note, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. Again, so that's what's going on this morning, which is whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. But that's the culmination of what... whatever I'm exposed to just via here and then there's the street version of there's nobody speaking about it any longer um, because somewhere between this senator that I can't verify as a senator he doesn't look like the senators that are in the Washington circus um, or circuit uh, based on the three Republican family members that they put up. But again, this idea of family is like this umbrella term, just like the police are an umbrella term. There seems to be a lot of agitation and filtrit that's been kind of swept in and just clay formationed together. But none of it seems congruently discernible like I mean it's how do you discern one thing from another when everybody's just kind of clay formation together I mean like there's never really any exact structure it's really it's hard to traverse I mean it's hard to even anchor or or find one's footing in in this this style of whatever they've done in a larger human whatever 
It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketteros. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.